Hey everyone, welcome back to Alps Mustang Garage. Today we're back on this 289 engine rebuild, and today we're gonna put on a new oil band. If you haven't had a chance already, um, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, it does help us uh, grow which helps us produce more videos to help you guys out. Appreciate so of course you kind of already got your timing cover on, got your oil pump on, all that stuff should be good. If you've been following all the steps, everything's torqued here and clean. And so we are going to put on one of these gaskets here. Um, I like these gaskets, they're kind of nice. Um, this is the uh, ACP one piece rubber um, with a metal core through it. So um, I especially like to use these if the oil pan is new and so the, you know, the, the mating services are all kind of like as, as clean and machine true as possible. Um, kind of makes it for a little easier job. But um, I don't do any kind of silicone on this or anything like that. I'm just kind of throw it on and bolt her down. Okay, I should take that back. It's not just throw it in and, and bolt the pan down. I am gonna put a dot of a little silicone. Just right here, these little grooves here, this is on the front of the timing cover. And then back here on the rear main cap, I'm gonna put just a little dab of, of silicone just in, in these little corners right here, just like this. Just cause those are, those are those little areas that, um, you know, oil loves to find its way through, so. Okay, and then when you put this pan in, it's got these little um, so these little tabs are going to go down into those grooves and we just put silicone in. I like to kind of push it in there, make sure she's in there good. Okay. Okay. Pan goes on. A brand new set of bolts here. These oil pans are going to have um, four bolts that are bigger than the rest of the bolts. And those four are like the front two and the very rear two. I just like to get a few of them started. And again, just like uh, pretty much anything that I bolt on an engine or anywhere, I just kind of get them all started first. You don't tighten down one bolt and then try to go to the next bolt. You've got to get them all started first. And then you kind of slowly tighten them all down together and put it down nice and even. Okay, so, now your bolt started. We're just going to kind of work around this just a little bit at a time. Jump back and forth from side to side.
Okay, so what I've done is just kind of like gotten all the bolts just kind of where the bolt just kind of like bottoms out like that. Um, and I haven't actually started to tighten everything. So now I know, you know, I can kind of watch my gasket and make sure you know, nothing's out of place or anything like that. But um, now that everything, all the bolts are bottomed out, now I can go back through and just kind of slowly tighten every bolt. So the torque on these is not going to be much. If my memory serves me correctly, maybe eight foot pounds, six to eight, somewhere in that range. I'll look it up for you. Okay, so once you've kind of gone around and it's starting to feel like it's starting to get pretty tight, um, it's time to put a torque wrench on there. The smaller bolts, seven to nine foot-pounds is the official spec. The larger bolts are nine to 11 foot-pounds, but again, I talk about this a lot, feel the bolt. If it doesn't feel right, stop what you're doing. It's tight enough. So just kind of go around and see how she is. Okay, so I went around that in a couple rounds. Um, the seven foot pounds feels much better and I'm not gonna go any further than seven. Um, on the larger ones, I went to nine, feels perfect. So I know this is kind of relatively a simple video, but I mean, that's the oil pan. Those are the gaskets I like to use, the one piecers. And I do like to have all new bolts. I'll put the links in the description for the gasket. Um, this is also an ACP oil pan as well. Um, but yeah, that's it. We're one step closer to having this engine done, so um, we'll catch you next time.